the tarot 888 eight, baby this message is for aquarius now you can have aquarius anywhere in your chart sun moon rising venus anywhere in your chart and aquarius this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece take what does baby and send the rest to the universe now look at you look at you manifesting everything your heart desires some of you guys you started to manifest when God, the universe started to teach you how to close these cycles. And this card kept falling out. And it's almost like someone has the biggest regret. And it's going to be because of Aquarius. For some of you guys, this particular person from your past <laughs> hasn't realized exactly what they did. Because for a lot of you guys, this particular person is about to have the biggest regret of their life when it comes to what letting you go. They're gonna be in this energy. And look, Aquarius. I'm getting the feeling for a lot of you guys, you had to play the fool to be the fool. And for some of you guys, you were in this energy. Oh, the veras, you're gonna let me go. For reals, you're gonna let me go. And this particular person might have been cruel in ways that that you never imagined. Because for some of you guys, this particular person might have kicked you when you was down. But there was something that you knew, Aquarius. It's almost like you were paying attention and listening to the universe, to God. And I'm talking to my Aquarius. That no universal law or that is learning about universal law. And I see you in this energy of being a spiritual gangster, a spiritual warrior. So for some of you guys, you had to hold back some of your energy. And it's almost like you didn't want this particular person from your past to leave. But they also didn't want to come with you. Because Aquarius, for some of you guys, you were dealing with somebody that was just money hungry. They wanted what you could provide for them, man or female. Because if... You know, some of you guys will be, well, I didn't work that much. It was your energy. It was the blessings that you carry. It was a favor that God has over your life. Yes. Even though you have favor over your life, even though you carry this energy of blessings, yes, you will go through trials and tribulations. And that comes from, I'm hearing from the devil, from the, from the enemy, to try to destroy your inner peace, your inner love, your, the energy you carry within you. But some of you guys, <laughs> you stayed 10 toes down, baby, and you kept it real, even though it might have hurt you. And you have somebody in the background where the tower moment's coming in. And I just heard the biggest regret, baby. I'm going to put it in the title, the biggest regret. Because even though they might have chose someone over you, might have left you, might have deceived you. For some of you guys, they took from you. And very, for a lot of you Aquarius, what I'm hearing is you provided a lot for this particular person. And it's almost like the universe put you in their path. You was the blessing, Aquarius. You was the blessing. And, and, and even though they might have took and caused this tower upon your life, they still spy and observe you obsessively is what I'm hearing. And they wonder, why is Aquarius still in this energy? Why is it that I have taken everything away from Aquarius? But look, siempre brillas, you always shine. Aquarius, you're, you, you, you're dealing with somebody that loved and hated you. They might have teamed up against you. But look, and they might have even drove you away for a period of time. And they didn't realize something. Is that it was not their rejection that pushed you in a different direction, baby. It was God's protection. And Aquarius, at one point, you were being stubborn. You were all up in your bed going, why are these things happening? Why do I got to move in this direction? And you didn't realize that the universe wanted to heal you. God was doing this. For some of you guys, you, you, the universe pushed you in a different direction. 
and look, and a lot of you guys, yes, you had love for moving in a different direction. Because Aquarius, for some of you guys, you're very adventurous. Even though you could be a little fixed because you're a fixed sign and you want it a certain way. And you want to know these details and you get up in your head. When it comes to manifestation, it's like the universe told you to just chill. Trust the process. Calmate. Calm down. Look at things from a higher perspective. And look, this was one of the hardest things for you to do, Aquarius. Aquarius, because I'm talking to my Aquarius that it's like things come to you easily and effortlessly. And you're starting to realize it. And that was something that the, un that, that the universe wants you to remember. The enemy wanted to destroy that from you. And, the, and God, the universe tells me, repeat it. They want you to use that affirmation. Because the more that you repeat that, the more that you step into what? Into your freaking power. You were meant to shine here. Some of you guys, some of you guys could be cross watching and you carry this energy. You've mastered every zodiac sign. The universe has put you boom, 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 to, to acquire your shadow side and your dark side. So some of you guys could be Leo and Venus is what I'm hearing. And that's their opposite. Or you could be dealing with somebody that is your opposite. Your one seven when it comes to Venus. And this particular person might have loved you and let you go is what I'm hearing. And for the ones that are on that note, that you had somebody leave you, but left you in good because some of you guys are dealing with two people. One that you could have been tied to longer or shorter. And you'll know which one it is. Some Someone left your life because they stayed obedient to the universe. Or this could be you leaving someone's life and you left it with love and you had to hold on to your, to your, to all that love. It's almost like God, the universe promised you, hey, if you follow me and you hold on to what I'm giving you, your power and everything, and it meant you walking away. It meant you walking away and it left you in this energy of, ay, 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 did this hurt Aquarius? But this, this hurt, you, the universe wants you to leave it in the past. Let go, no matter how much you had built with this particular person. See, there was things you didn't see and you didn't hear of the people that were plotting against you. And it was about your, what? Your prosperity, your abundance. What did I say earlier? You attract because things comes to you easily and everything. It's you're a magnet when it comes to what? Attracting. And the universe needed you to understand this because some, some of you guys were dealing with a particular person and I'm here and you could have been married to this person. You could have had a long-term relationship. For some of you guys, this could have even been a sibling that was so jealous of you and your light. And they wanted you in this energy. For a lot of you guys, they wanted you to be in the background and they had you here and they were breadcrumbing you. And all they were doing was trying to keep you around to what? To keep taking from you. You were prosperous. You were bringing prosperity to everybody around you. But the universe said no more. The universe had to bring you into isolation. It was like your period of you with God, the universe. And you've learned a lot. You've elevated and you've learned how to protect your energy. When it comes to what? All these areas of your life. Love, happiness, and wealth. So some of you guys, yes, now you're standing in your power. In Aquarius, what did I say, man? Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. Or this fire energy. This is your opposite. So some of you guys are learning how to stand in your power. And some of you guys may be confused as a Leo because of your ambition. But see, when you go after what you like, fire and water and your emotions, you balance that out. You get everything you want. And some of you guys are wanting somebody to love, somebody to build with. And the universe is bringing you somebody, but it's not the one that you want. Not the one that betrayed you. 
Because some of you guys still have a little feelings for that particular person. And don't lie. Look, let's see. Let's see. What do they have? Let's check. Let's check with these love articles real quick. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart, Aquarius. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Some of you guys are seeing 222. Some of you guys are seeing 777. Hit play the lottery. Win. Some of you guys may win. Don't forget about your boy. Now, let's see. It says right here, it's, it is dark without you. So some of you guys, <laughs> you have somebody that is regretting, regretting just coming up against you. It says you deserve better. And for a lot of you guys, fuck yeah, Aquarius. After this particular situation, yes, they're about to have the biggest regret of their life. Because you were the best. You were the chosen one. For them, you are chosen. Put it in the comments, baby. I'm chosen. It says, will this pain ever stop? Now, for a lot of that, for a lot of you, this is going to depend on you. Because some of you guys don't want to see this particular person. There's no way for them to come and apologize. You have your boundaries put up. And you're too busy, you're too busy manifesting. And you've closed out this cycle. You said adios. No more. It says, my life is a mess right now. And you know this. And you don't want a part of this. Aquarius, some of you guys were dealing with somebody that teamed up against you when it comes to when it comes to getting your money. And if this was somebody very close to you, if you had a spouse or you had a sibling that is competing against you, their life is a mess. You was the sauce, baby. You are the blessing. Put in the comments. I am the blessing. And see, they can't manifest like you can. Some of you guys, <laughs> you left who they teamed up with, who they chose you over, and you stayed silent. It says, this love is crazy, and they long for your kiss. But let's put that up because some of you guys are moving forward, and you have somebody new that's going to be longing for that kiss. Some of you guys are a little intimidated when it comes to love. And that message I'm hearing is for somebody new. Some of you guys are going to kiss this particular person. You're going to feel this attraction, but you're going to have your guard up. You're going to check your list on what you love, what you want. So some of you guys have learned to take your power back, to not settle for no bullshit. No mediocre love is what I'm hearing. And look, you don't want nobody that's going to come in and steal and, and just kind of bullshit you around when it comes to love. Mm -mm. And if this isn't business worse because you don't want nobody messing with your money but i'm hearing this is when it comes to love and this particular person might be in conflict because it's almost like you give them a little bit but you don't give them all and that's what the universe is telling you take it easy calm down you don't have to give yourself all up yes you want love yes you're ready to you know bump and grind because some of you guys when it comes to love and passion you go all in. Look, you're coming out right here even butt naked. Some of you guys love to be butt naked. I'm here. The universe is telling you to balance the scale. Take it easy. You may have a Sagittarius coming in. This Sagittarius may come in just to kill, steal, and destroy. So the universe wants you to be very, very smart when you come to making this move, when you they want you to have your boundaries up. They want you to take it easy. They want you to use your discernment. Your intuition, baby. You've been, you've been praying for love. <laughs> and all the some of you guys been looking for love in all the wrong places. Look. And for some of you guys, you've been holding out. 14, 14, when I said that, look, you're holding up and your ancestors are happy. Yes, indeed. Let's see. What do we have for? The situation, love article. Let's see. And Aquarius, you have full moon uh, rituals. Even you still have that energy right now. They want me to show you that. They want me to pull three cards. So let's see. When it comes to love, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising anywhere in your chart. Look, these three cards came out. All right. So it says, look, when it comes to love, you want unconditional love. 
You want self-love. You want affection. You want somebody that's going to touch you, that's going to feel you, that's going to understand you. You're done with this heartbroken BS. Some of you guys, the feeling of you losing somebody, that's why I, I was hearing their biggest regret of their life is going to be missing you, losing you. Some of you guys already griefed and let go of this this love. You don't need that shit, but you, you Aquarius, you're looking for love. And you know what the universe has for you? A twin flame, not twin flame. You could have been dealing with a twin flame because twin flame will cause all this pinchy conflict here and there because they don't got their shit together. And you tell them, hey, this is what I want. This is what I need. And sometimes you just got to let go and just manifest that everything will be okay and let them heal. Because if you're dealing with the twin flame, yes, they compliment you, but some of them need to work on it. Eventually, they'll come in. And for some of you guys, Aquarius, you might be like Libra, thinking about who they with, what they doing. Some of them ain't doing shit. Some of them are too afraid. And for some of you guys, you guys have a freak on your hands. But it's okay. You're willing to heal. Some of you realize, I don't want no freak. Some of you guys, it's all in your head. You're about to celebrate with somebody that's going to ask you, hey, you want coffee? Get us cafe. And it's going to lead from coffee to this. Damn. Look, so they want me to give you this one right here for the full moon affirmations. Okay. So let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, leaves, anywhere in your chart. And Aquarius, hit the like button. Share, subscribe, baby. Comment if this is you. All right, let's see. What do we have? Let's pull three cards for Aquarius. All right. Three cards fell out. Look at this. So some of you guys... Some of you guys could be born on the 10th or on December 10th. This particular person is coming into your life. It says, Authenticity. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought word and deed. Some of you guys need to repeat these affirmations because you're attracting somebody that is equally yoked as you. And see, this is what sets you apart, your ethnicity. But through this process and why some of you guys, and I'm hearing why some of you guys have let this particular person go of your past. How is it that you're so in control of your emotions? Because some of you guys had to work on it. Yes, you did. And man, you hit it, it's, it puts you in in this emperor energy of what you're going to settle with and what you're not going to settle with. And you made a list of what you're going to put up with. But this process, this awakening, this spiritual journey that you love so much, that you embrace, whew, has brought you so much wisdom. Yes, it's gotten to the point where you know who you are. And you know your mission. For some of you guys, your testimony is freaking badass. And look, today is Wednesday. It says, on a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So some of you guys may be seeing owls or owl is your totem animal. There's something behind it. You need to research it. For some of you guys have a tattoo and it looks badass, an owl. Some of you guys are hearing owls. And if you're hearing owls at night, so many blessings are coming to you. Now, some of you guys, through this process, you've learned how to increase the passion in what you do, whether it's work, whether it's in love, what you want. Look, the number 11. Some of you guys are born on the 11th or you're seeing 1111. And it says passion, rise, passion, rise up high inflame my purpose reach the sky so some of you guys are learning how to embrace your purpose how to let go of what no longer resonates and allow good things to come in and look at the bottom of the deck it says right here 43 some of you guys could be 43 or life path number seven and it says harvest as the waves of the ocean are infinite as the trees in the forest grow tall let my work now bring me a Bring me to harvest. 
I am ready to receive my all. So some of you guys need to be open to receive love, wealth, joy, happiness. And some of you guys will be saying this ritual. It's your harvest time. And by you letting go of the past, for some of you guys, I'm telling you, you guys have somebody shocked as fuck. They can't believe that you don't want them no more. And it's not that you don't want them in that way. Some of y'all understand karma and how shit works. But you let them, you release them. Some of you guys are like, fuck that. I'm releasing them to the streets. That's where they belong. And if you feel that in your heart, baby, just keep it like that. Keep it pushing. You've healed and you're ready to let go. And you don't want this conflict. And you don't care what they take. Because Aquarius, you're on a high vibration, baby. You know that everything they take from you, you know universal law. God, the universe is going to give you tenfold. So some of you guys, fuck it. If they want to take this, they want to take that. Chinguen a su madre. And you letting them go and take it. Because you know God, the universe, is going to give you everything you want. You're manifesting, baby. Stay on this vibration. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. And comment, baby, if this is you. Because I'm hearing you're manifesting freedom. Financial freedom. I'm here. Rich. Wealth. Some of you guys are just that goody good love. And man, they are going to be. They're going to be in this energy when they see you with somebody new. They're going to feel this. This is the first card that fell out. So some of you guys, yes, they're about to be in this energy. And they're not even going to be able to look you in the eye. Because they did you dirty. They know they did you dirty. This is you. So that's what I have for you. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you. If in a tarot, 888.